Mourinho called him the best player on the pitch. That's interesting one. Uh, so how did the performance of the world's most expensive player compare to his French international teammate N'Golo Kante? Well, Kante scored from his only shot on target. Pogba didn't manage any. Kante made more passes, better passing accuracy. He made four key passes to Pogba's zero. He also better Pogba in dual success, tackles one, and also lost the ball fewer times. And looking at the Opta heat match, Andy, look at this from last night. Uh, you can see Kante <coughs> covered a lot more of the pitch than Pogba, who mostly played on the left of midfield. But that tells its story, didn't he? Um, outclassed by Chelsea's big summer signing, didn't he? Uh, Jose Mourinho calling him the best player on the pitch? I think he's in danger of just becoming a brand. Uh, I don't see him as a defensive midfield player. I don't see him as a what goal scoring. Is his, what is his player. position? Then? I don't actually know. I mean, he's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot of talent, but you know, he's got his own emojis now. He's got a big circus surrounding him. You see all the advertising boards around the ground, and it's all to do with Pogba and the brand. I think the sooner he gets back to concentrating on actually trying to become as good as Kante, trying to be the the player that Kante is, stopping the opposition, driving forward. Showing how good you are in an even in an athletic sense. Get up and down the pitch, carry the ball 50, 60 yards, give your teammates the chance to, to make an impact in the game, score a few more goals. When you think that uh, when you add in the agents fee, it's a hundred million pounds that this guy has cost, and you're not seeing any evidence of a really special player. And I think uh, you know that unless he improves, that's going to become a problem for Jose Mourinho and Man United.